What is up you guys? Glitches here and welcome to episode 2 of the Horizon Forbidden West 4K playthrough. If you guys are enjoying these videos, if you want to keep up to date with all the future uploads, consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the future episodes. And then last but not least, before we get started, uh, I want to say that the upcoming episodes will be a little bit shorter, like I mentioned in the first video. I may record up to an hour, two hours at a time, but I will edit it accordingly, so uh, the uploads are a little more frequent and a little bit more manageable, and uh, you guys will get uh, more content on the channel. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it, and we're going to pick right back up where we uh, left off on the last episode. Just finished... Uh Taking down the big snake machine. I'm not sure what the official name of them are yet, but we're back. The data center should be straight ahead. Gonna have to uh, keep in mind about these little there. machine parts. Totally didn't notice that during the first fight with the slither fang. That's what they're called. Um, so that would have made that fight way easier. Apparently I missed the supplies too, so good thing I checked that. Grab the chest. I don't think there's much other... I think we're good. Alright, let's go. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the Blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. <sighs> but is it still there? Okay. On our way to the data something. center. Forget those little information data cells there. Nothing really over here. Please be here. Here. Let's go. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Hmm. Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! That's unfortunate. Aloy? Hey, uh, 
goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Farrell. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure. But Spymaster Murad, back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better... Hey, we're gonna get our mount. Nice that we get it like right away. <laughs> we don't have to learn how to do it. Saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Really? Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. <laughs> nice little statue we got there. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, Top the light said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that, we left everything just as it was. What do you Interesting. Think I don't know. The spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. 
Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I could pull this thing out of my head. Front row. No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Jump to that ledge behind me. There we go. That's what it was. The caster can't reach that from here. I need gotcha. To get closer. Gotta remember these controls. There we go. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Alright, well, it's not that. Looks like I can use my pull caster on that. Of course I can. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission out at the top will tell me. Uh, looks like this... Engaging maintenance 
configuration. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. Still can't get over how good this game looks. Alright, we're at the top. There's the note. The next, next spire, I guess, maybe. Well, Aloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped a lance to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you one of those guy backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. I was wondering when we we're going to see this guy again. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a man. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vanasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Nice new little spear. And what is this? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, 
May these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Okay. Oh, there's probably a vendor in here that will give me access to, to the, uh, the master override to my new spear. Access to my new weapons. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! <laughs> the sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. His arms must get tired holding him up like that all day. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noth territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Man, that's a long time. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he had, he's turning into a fine young man. We chill. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. 
Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Sounds like he's got a thing for Aloy. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front of barren light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. We'll think about it. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. No idea what I just Master did. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Hope you got that roof. Gotcha. Luthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. 
always. Well, I know... Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. <laughs> Well, that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up. Aloy, are you finished with your friends? Or do you need more time? We're good. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt. The canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. She's sneaking out without him. Cool little introduction. Tall neck. A voice calls me for through darkness unknown. My heart with silence burns through solemnness and bones. The edge beyond the shore, this weight of root and rock. I long to reach the other. It's a long road to get to the Forbidden West.
box to steal. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask... People need to put on a few more layers. Must be freezing. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangenesses, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! Ah. Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... this... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis? Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, yeah, learn who you're talking to. This is the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baronlight. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. 
I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. That's what you get. Will be. Trust me. Cool. A lot of story and cutscenes in this game. But it might be good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Yeah, I think that'll be a good spot to end episode two. Uh, again, we'll pick right back up in episode three with where we left off here. But if you guys are enjoying the videos, then uh, consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the uh, future uploads. And uh, if you want to show your support even more, you can do so now by actually becoming a channel member. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you can get instant access to my in-game Dauntless Partner Flare and get a ton of cool bonus perks. So if that's something you uh, might be interested in, feel free to check out the join button below. But yeah, until the next one, you guys, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you all later.